So I am super excited because I got some of my Amazon packages in today. And I'm about to drink my Oxy Shred and my creatine. But I'm like really excited because first of all, I don't mind the clothes that just thrown over there. I'm about to rearrange all that stuff soon. But I really want to try on one of my items. I really want to try on one of my items because they feel super, super thick and almost like stretchy. And I really want to try it on because I hope I don't have to send anything back. So most of the like clothing items I got, I've got from the same brand. So I feel like if I try one on, they all should kind of sort of like feel the same way or fit the same way. So I think I'm gonna try one on, but I'm not gonna show y'all because I am going to do an Amazon haul. Um, but I just want to have on camera and tell y'all that I'm excited because my packages came in. Um, I got like some dupes for certain things. I'm not gonna say because I just want to leave it for the Amazon haul. But yeah, so I'm gonna try one on. I am going to finish up drinking my concoction so I can get ready to go to the gym and I will talk to you guys later i am gonna be trying to do like um december content so maybe i could do 12 days of christmas i feel like it will be a stretch for me to do like vlogmas every day maybe i should challenge myself and try to go the whole like what is it 25 days of december um where i like vlog or do videos every single day and post every single day but we will see. I'm gonna talk to my husband and see like what he thinks about it. Um, but anyway, uh, I feel like I'm rude. Um, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning into my vlog. If you are a new subscriber or if you are just currently watching, trying to decide if you want to join my family or not, um, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to Check out my videos. I hope you like what you see and I hope you do decide to join the family. So it is currently 310 right now and at 630 we are going to be having a family game night and I might record it. I might not. As always, I just like to fill out the vibe and if I feel like, you know, everyone is up to being on camera, I'll, you know, pull my camera out and if not, I do apologize, but I just like to respect other people's spaces and other people's like privacy. So I did want to come on here really quick before my camera died. I think my other battery is charged, but just in case, I wanted to show you guys what I got from Home Goods maybe like a week ago, and it's just been sitting on my table, and I'm kind of like tired of seeing it just sit here, but I just haven't had a chance to show you guys what I picked up. And I pray that my hands aren't ashy because I washed my hands before I had ate my lunch and I didn't put any lotion on. So I'm just gonna show you guys like what's in front of me. So the first thing I got from Home Goods is a candle. I didn't know that this was a DW Home candle, but it is the vanilla balsam, vanilla balsam candle. Um, it's a warm, creamy, and fresh scent. Um, it says fresh cut fir, balsam, white spruce, and blue cypress. Um, I don't, you know what? It's basically notes of balsam, uh, white spruce, and creamy sweetness of vanilla bean. Uh, this candle is like very heavy. I don't know if you guys can tell in my hand. Hopefully it like, come on. There we go. This is the candle. And this candle was $20. It smells really, really good though. Like, I hope it burns as well as it smells because that's the problem I have sometimes when I buy candles. They just don't like give off what they smell like in the jar. I don't know how that happens or how that works, but yeah so moving on we have another fragrance um this one is just from this brand called homeworks and it is the iced sugar cookie scented candle and what intrigued me to the candle was the christmas trees 
uh, on a candle and I kind of wanted something festive and green in the house because that is going to be like the color for this year. Uh, just neutral tones with like pops of green. So this definitely smells good and I cannot wait to burn that candle. And then I also picked this up in the um, checkout line. Um, this is a AP fragrance, it's vanilla cashmere. And I don't know if you guys notice or can tell, but I do love a good vanilla based scent. Um, this was for $5 and it is a six ounce. So it is way bigger than the ones at Bath and Body Works. And I do believe they might run for the same price. Um, but this is six ounces versus the little tiny can that you get at home. I mean, at, um, versus the one you get at Bath and Body Works. I had a brain fart. So moving right along, those were all the fragrances that I picked up. Um, this is very, I guess, fitting right now because I purchased a new vase. Um, my favorite color is green. So I feel like this was in perfect timing that they had like green vases out for, you know, the winter time for Christmas time. Um, this vase was $16.99 and I just thought it was super cute to have to like put my flowers in. Maybe I can do like white roses or any type of neutral color flower because so yeah i'm thinking i could do like neutral colored flowers just because i feel like this is a green face and i don't know how i feel about other colors um with a color like i don't know how i feel about colored flowers with the colored vase because you know usually typically people usually have like clear vases so any color would go with it but we will see over time so I said this was like perfect timing because this morning I actually broke one of my vases and it was a clear one. I love that vase. I think I got it from Target. So I'll probably, whenever all the madness died down, I will go to Target and see if I can get my hands on another one of those vases. But I thought this was super cute and something different that I didn't think I would end up liking and even pick up. Um, what else I got? So next up, I got this cookie cutter set. Um, it has the gingerbread man, a Christmas tree, and the star. Um, this was $5.99. They had different kinds of um, cookie cutter sets, but I felt like this one had a lot more of like the cuter ones. I felt like um my god sister would probably want to decorate with so my goal is to have my god sister here you know for a couple of days where we can do like some cool and cute christmas stuff with her and have christmas with her early so that um when christmas come we're gonna be really busy so i didn't want to have to drag her around with me while you know we're celebrating christmas and doing things with other people I don't know why I chose to film right here, probably because all my stuff was right here. So I'm sorry if you guys can hear the noise outside. So next up, I picked up this cute, hopefully you guys can see like the little snowflakes on it. If it will like kind of dark, there we go. So I picked up this very deep, like I don't know if you guys can see, but I picked up this deep, uh, I guess Christmas decor piece. I am going to be putting this on like our entryway table. So I, but um, I think last year or the year before last, I had purchased this cute like decorative glass, um, almost bowl like this, but it didn't have the stand on it. And it is uh like gold, white and silver ish. So I had purchased that to put out for like our Christmas decor because the colors in the bowl went with like the colors that are on my tree, which are like very neutral earthy tones. Um, it wasn't necessarily like a Christmas bowl though, but like I said, it matched the decor that I had. So that's what I've had on our stand for the longest but when i saw this and it had the snowflakes i thought that i should go with a little bit more of like an actual christmas um 
piece i guess so it doesn't necessarily match anything that um will be on my tree but it does go with our um entryway table that we have by the door because it is like gray and mirrored so i just figure it goes it has snowflakes on it it's cute it's festive um so i picked that up and this was 19.99 so the last three things i got is like food related so i picked up this tarani brown sugar cinnamon syrup um this is about this is 7.49 um i think they usually are a little bit cheaper than this but you know it's the holidays they're probably gonna jack up prices on everything so i picked this up because as you guys know starbucks always comes out with um like holiday drinks every year and i have been making like my own coffee at home every single day so before everyone had um caught wind of all this stuff that has been going on with sephora not sephora i'm sorry before everyone has caught wind of everything that has been going on with Starbucks, I went maybe two or three times and I've tried the brown sugar shaken espresso oat milk, I think that's what it's called. And I liked the first one that I got, but any the other two after that, I was just kind of like, you know what, I can make it at home myself. And if I figure out like how to make it, I can make it the same way every single time because I'm just making it for myself so I know what I like and what I don't like. So I didn't initially want the sugar-free syrup. I like just the regular syrup because you don't really use a lot of it anyway. But this was all they literally had. And if they did have any of the ones that didn't say sugar-free, it was of some other flavor that I didn't even know what it was and I wasn't like down to try it. But if I can go online and like get my hands on just a regular one, I think I would prefer that over the sugar-free. But I figured the sugar-free syrup wouldn't hurt for now, especially because I am in the gym and you know, I just need to kind of stay on the straight and narrow until I get to my goal weight. Even even when I get to my goal weight, I feel like I still just, you know, want to be able to enjoy having a treat but not abusing the fact that it's just a treat and i need to stick to my strict diet so moving on um something else i picked up for my god sister in mind is this boba kit and it's a hot chocolate boba kit so when I seen that, I figured she would love to try it because anytime during Christmas when she comes to my house, she loves to make hot chocolate. She loves to make s'mores with my husband. And she, if she can get anything to make it look like she's drinking coffee, like she's down for it. But I figured that would be something fun for her to kind of like just create for herself and make her feel like you know, she created her own drink. And then last but not least, I also picked up this hot chocolate spoon kit. So it's milk chocolate with marshmallows. It's four of them in here. So it'll be myself, my brother, my husband, and my god sister. So it's enough for all four of us. And I think I am gonna try to incorporate this in like um, a video of some sort because we are gonna be wearing matching pajamas again. So, you know, the last time you guys saw all of us in a video together, we I did it like a behind the scenes of us taking pictures. We had just got a new dog then and now we have another new dog, but you guys will see him in a very larger form than like puppy because he did not stay being a puppy long um but yeah i got this though literally with her in mind but i also figured i could do something cute with that as well so that was everything that i picked up from home goods oh and then i also picked up some wrapping paper i picked up two of the same kinds and then two different ones but it all kind of go and cohesive with like my color scheme so it's like white gold and green color paper so i just got some of that i don't feel like y'all want to see that so yeah that was everything that i got from home goods so now that i have showed you guys i'm going to put these things away i am going to prepare myself i'm about to go take a shower 
um, and then get myself ready for the day or for the night for game night. So um, I'll probably pick the camera back up though because I do wanna show you guys some stuff that I picked up from the Sephora VIB sale. I know it's long gone, but if I can give you guys some um, inspiration of something that you wanna purchase or something that you was thinking about purchasing and you wanna know my thoughts on it, some stuff I have not tried yet, but some stuff I can like recommend if you guys have been wanting or thinking about it and you kind of just need that push. Maybe I got something that you guys are thinking about purchasing and yeah, so I am gonna put these things away like I said and then I am going to take a shower and I will be right back. So we are back from family game night. I didn't record, I did record a little bit, but we didn't play all of the games that we were supposed to play because um, one of the games just didn't get purchased um, as planned, which was fine, it was okay. Um, and then our some of my family had to get back on the road to head back to their part of North Carolina so that you know, they can get ready for work tomorrow and then my husband has to work tomorrow too. So it was just like a little small, cute little game night playing left, right, center. If y'all don't know about left, right, center, first of all, do y'all like my hair like this? I'm trying something new. Matter of fact, let me get my stand cause I'm not about to hold this camera. My arm hurting already. Okay, I'ma just hold it real quick um, cause I'm not gonna be long. But yeah, if you guys haven't played Left Right Center, that is a fun game to play. Like literally every time we play, we always get some good laughs and um, more people wanna play. And it's just, it's just a fun game. So, and I think it's probably like maybe $5 for the game. It's just a little can and it has like the three dices and it comes with like chips if you don't wanna play with like actual cash. But you know, as adults, we make it fun with cash and you know, it just makes the game more enjoyable. So yeah, that's what we played tonight. And we played like, I think four or five rounds. And yeah, so the last pot we made it $45 and I hate losing the big pots, but I did win a game and I won a game yesterday too because we played on Thanksgiving as well. So yeah, I just wanted to hop on camera and just kind of like summarize the rest of today because I didn't really record. Um, it wasn't that the vibes wasn't, you know, hitting or wasn't good or anything like that. But like I said, we were just like into the game. I just wouldn't have been able to like set my camera up anyway. So yeah anyway so i'll see y'all tomorrow because i am going to be filming and if i can i'm gonna bring my camera with me to the gym again and if i can get some privacy um i will try to like you know record myself doing a few of my workouts tomorrow but if not um i'll probably see y'all in a few days or no i'll see y'all I'll see y'all tomorrow because I have to still show you guys what I got from Sephora. So yeah, but again, do are y'all feeling the hair? I'm trying something different. I'm trying the whole like round out fro type look while my hair is short because I think I want to keep it short for a little while. Um, but yeah, so the dogs are coming in the house now and it's about to be chaos and noise. So I'll talk to y'all tomorrow.